Hello, my fantastic and fantastic. And today I want to talk about my UN3 C Tona team that I've managed to put together. So for C Tona, you have to actually have different rarity cards. And having this star rarity underneath in pad DB while it lasts still is great because you can visualize things a little bit easier. So why did I bring these cards? Well, Beach Planner is solving multiple problems. She is my backup emergency cleric so to speak she's also my solution to damage absorption which happens multiple times in the dungeon so life becomes quite a bit happier with her around and then with jean pierre he is just arguably the best like void damage void piercer especially at the seven star rarity he hits hard because of the three attribute awakenings his active skill makes him hit extremely hard while also counteracting negative orbs and also gives haste upon transformation and with the snowflake inherited he is able to have one tpa and with one TPA, he is able to clear one turn of unmatchable. It comes in handy because Planner is being abused for her damage absorption cancellation. It's still available in case there are Woken Binds, but she's mostly being used for damage absorption. So, Jean-Pierre is kind of a weird backup unmatchable. Now you're thinking, why didn't I put that on Daytona? Well, Daytona's light light. If Daytona was light something else, this would be fine because the something else means that if light is unmatchable, he could match the something else and clear unmatchable. But if light becomes unmatchable, Daytona just sits there and is a little awkward overall. Erend is arguably one of the greatest six star options for this team because they provide a looping shield and a looping attack buff along with four skill boosts and two team HP awakenings. It just makes team building significantly easier and who cares if he has a low attack, that's actually kind of a high attack stat. It's mostly because he has great HP along with the team HP it makes your life much bigger overall. So, why did I choose these awakenings? Well, Shotel's Twin Blades is spectacular for this dungeon because the final boss is a dragon healer, so you're ensuring that the C Tona that increases their damage cap limit is essentially hitting five, like hitting all the billions possible, six billions possible effectively because that's 25 times more damage on top of whatever's happening. It ensures that you can two shot it if you have void damage void up. So it gives you that flexibility along with dragons being a very copious spawn in the dungeon. Healers do present themselves more. So the point of the matter is all the damage on this team comes from your Seawolf Daytonas, but the real Daytona does actually can hit one and a half damage caps on their main attributes. So like he's still putting in work. He has Sheets Weapon Assist because I needed a skill boost and more TPAs. Probably not necessary when I think about it because C Tonus can do all the damage, but I already have resist for blind, jammer, cloud, and tape. So I don't really need poison resist, I feel. And with 27 skill boosts, I'm able to get things transformed even because I have eight turns of haste. So you could have t more skill boosts, you could have 29 skill boosts to be extremely safe. With 29 skill boosts, or I guess multiple sets of haste, or even delays brought in, you run the risk of getting both your leaders delayed heavily, because floor 1 has 2-4 to four skill turn delay. So 29 skill boosts is perfectly safe with 2 SDRs, 27 is safe if you bring enough haste because I just happen to have lots of haste on my team. So with that being said, let us enjoy the actual gameplay footage because it's a lot of just minimal comboing. And just remember, because you have a flat HP multiplier, one comboing if the board is unfavorable speeds things up and you're not really dying anyways because all your healing comes from your active skill. Yeah, she's still definitely strong. I don't think time debuff was that big a problem. Planner's giving me the L for the... Planner's solving a couple of interesting nuances with the damage absorption, to be fair. Okay. So I have to use all my hastes, ladies and gentlemen. Just trying to remember which order I use my hastes. Bro, what happened? Exactly what Kuro said. Drive them. Okay, I transformed successfully, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just trying to think what's my order I should do next time. 
So healing doesn't do anything for this team. All that really matters is your HP. Okay, I need to remember to actually make combos here. Fish, what am I doing? I picked the wrong orb and I confused myself. That's okay. I have Daytona as a backup for Void Void. It's okay. I guess if I had like a bonus combo count, this could I guess be faster, if I think about it. Okay, I do proper things. Uh, bro, what happened? It's only 2.1 million HP. Yeah, deck, that could work as well. But, haste are faster, I guess. I think just finding an active skill that gives bonus combos with haste is maybe what I would try to make it go a little faster. Hey, look at that. A perfect board, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not enough. Oh, I realized Planner needs to be earlier because I don't have... She needs to be up to haste. No, wait. She needs to be ready for floor four. Or five, I mean. So I'm actually on track and it's fine. You just like seeing all those OEs? I do too. I do actually have some OEs. Not much, actually. Very little, you're right. But you can't delay one of them, I know that. So you only stall a few turns with it. Okay, with color absorbs, it should be fine. is working as intended yeah you're right deck that's the only one you can't delay so I right, beach planners up so I planned for this so yeah maybe if there's haste if anyone can look up I guess on the side is there any haste with bonus combo count that would make floors a little faster I guess Bing, bing, bing. Aaron did 11 million damage. What are they doing? Their best. Okay, I want to make L's of blue and... Oh, my shield's gone. Blue and red. Aaron does almost back up. It's fine. Blue and red L's are what I like to do here. So, my awakenings come, my assists come back, which is pretty cool. But I did no damage, because TPAs are where my damage is at.
What comb is that? Yamato's comb, Kiri? Does it give haste and, like, two haste with bonus combos for several turns? Woo! Smashing. Raw Dragon Equip is two haste with five combo and tape. That's a good idea, Vicious Soldier. Vicious Soldier, is it, how many turns does the bonus combo last? Because Kirin has the best one so far. I should find different music to play, because I do technically have background music cards now. Maybe that will spin to red and I'll feel cool about this. Yamato's Comb. What's the monster number, Kieran? I'm going to pull it up on my side window. Two turns. Not as great, Vicious, unfortunately. Not as great. Okay. Light's unmatchable, but... I can match blue TPAs and, like, put back, like, little turns of things... So, like, oh, my lights are back, ladies and gentlemen. What a bright idea that was to have unmatchable for one turn on my man. No, ridiculous. I agree. That was ridiculous, wasn't it? I like his response. <laughs> one TPA clears one turn at a time. I know, Vicious, though, not quite. I was just wondering that lasts longer so I can have less brains necessary. Valyria from Orchestra. Wait, what Valyria? Oh, wait. Orchestra? I... Wait. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? I'm playing pad. That's what I'm doing. Whatever. I blobbed. It's okay. Orchestra Valyria? I don't think so. But I do have Raw Dragons equipped, and I know it's good. Alrighty, so my secret to Void Damage Void is having two different cards on my team. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was trying to cascade the blue for happiness. Oh, that didn't work out either. But it's okay, there's so much damage. I know, bro, what happened. And this is super gravity. Oh, why did you delay me? That's so rude. Hmm. Okay, what floor am I on again? I'm on floor 11... I can just use Daytona. Get some orbs for me that are enhanced. Okay. Even though my attack is halved, I think I have the damage. Yes, I do. I don't have auto healing, so this is a little inconsiderate for that turn. Car a vicious soldier is sad because you have to make even more effort by comparison, eh? Hey, real Daytona is actually doing damage. Like, real Daytona's actually putting in damage. This is the only sub that I've ever brought that hits damage regularly, I feel. Alrighty, so, with this Light Absorb that's pretty inconsiderate, I need to wait for one of, one of my many piercers to come up. 
So I just need to keep auto healing, that's all I do. I'm gonna use Daytona. Because I don't want because my Jean Pierre doesn't have the right stuff. Does Daytona remove this? No, it doesn't. That's rude. Okay. If this doesn't work, I can just use another active after. Ha! It works! The color absorb strategy works! Oh, that's nice. Cross would make me pretty happy to have then, deck. What number is that card? Oh, I have a Jean-Pierre up for this. I'll wait for another turn or so, I guess. Okay. I don't know how long this will take for this. But I'm buffed up. Could have got one more like TPA in, I guess. Smashing. Wonder if Naughty Oak likes Rose? Who knows? So I think I should wait one turn. Yeah, I think I should just wait one turn. Okay. So even if I get skill delayed, I still have actives. I have a lot of light orbs. Whatever, I don't need a blue TPA. Who needs that nonsense? Woo! Just enough, eh? And then Jean-Pierre will be here to enhance my life. Never mind, he's delayed. That's rude. Gotta wait for that. Well, that's rude. Oh, fish, I forgot which is the blue one in this string of nonsense. Maybe I did that wrong. Because I don't have any red orbs. I did that wrong. It's okay, I'm just mismanaging this. I'm gonna get rid of the negative orbs in this matching sequence here. But then it doesn't really matter because Jean-Pierre is gonna just enhance my life. So I technically get hit, which is obviously rude, but the shield from Aaron is keeping me alive. Okay, now I can kill it. I can kill it with all the Seawolf power. The true power of Daytona! Seawolf. The 
all red in the dark. Everything is red. All I see is red. Oh, I missed the one at the bottom, but doesn't matter because I see six billions across the board. That's fun! Yeah, this team is pretty great. I could manage that so much better, but pretty amazing overall. Feel the power exactly, Kuro. So yeah, I definitely feel like some tweaks are definitely in order. That wasn't that long either. So, lots of money. Lots of mo personal rank experience. Wow! Oh, I never did this, actually. So I got the cool dragon to start. So I will start working towards getting more of this cool things. And making this dragon one day. Maybe. Maybe. But either way, this dungeon is good to play. Because look at all those super snow globe dragons. Who likes to make things level 120 and not really consider the consequences? This guy. So all these super snow globe dragons with the coins is going to make it very easy to level up cards to level 120. Without fear of running out of money or super snow globe dragons. So hopefully this video provides you with some insight as to what this team can be capable of doing. I definitely could optimize this better, but it feels pretty fun and not that stressful. But with that being said, hopefully all you lovely ladies out there in the YouTube worlds have a truly fantastic day. I wish you the best luck in your own pet adventures, and happy puzzling.